everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I'm reviewing Yankee Candles Honey Crisp Apple Cider. So this is actually available in America at the moment. If you want to get it in the UK, obviously you can get um, Facebook or eBay people reselling it on from where they've got it sent over from America. You can use Shelley's World of Wax, who I'll link down below, who I get my American scents off of when I buy the jars. Um, but on this occasion, I used Wax Addicts, who I'll also link down below, which is where I get all my crumble pots from. If you do watch my reviews regularly, this is how I can get my reviews out a bit quicker for you, because I could not afford to buy all of these in jars. So this is an American scent, Honeycrisp Apple Cider. You can see there it's sort of like a dark yellowy sort of colour on the wax. This is currently available on the US website now for $31 for a large jar, so quite expensive. Um, it's also available in a large two-wick tumbler. You can get it in the votives. You can get it in the car jar, single wax melts, or the charming scents fragrance refill for your car as well. So quite a few varieties of it there. Um, I'll put a link down below as well for the Yankee Candle website. But obviously, just bear in mind this is the US website. This is not um, this is not the UK one. So the notes for this one. It says, this is a fruity fragrance, and we have, for the notes, it says crisp apples with sweet cider and a warm mug of fall. Now, this is what's going to sound super weird. So, I didn't get this from this candle at all. I didn't get any apple. I didn't get any cider, and this is going to be... It's really weird because I've, I've looked on the, the reviews as well on the Yankee Candle website and there's a couple of like great ones saying that it's really nice with a hint of vanilla and people saying it's got the cinnamon and that in there. Um, some And then some people being really mixed saying it was a very mild scent. So I burnt my crumble pot in an electric wax warmer and it was super, super strong. It it i had it burning in quite a small room bearing in mind so it probably would travel a little bit further in a, a larger room as well but it kicked butt it was so so strong but this is the thing that's weird i didn't get any honey crisp apple cider it smelt florally to me and i don't know if my nose is playing tricks on me or i was just having a bit of an odd, an odd day. I had nothing else burning in the house that I could have been confusing it with. I hadn't sprayed anything. This was all I had going. And I'll be honest with you, it smelled exactly like somebody had just put a massive fresh bouquet of flowers in my porch. It was very strange, especially when I'm reading the reviews and nobody else is getting this. So I'm only going to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you what everyone else is saying on the reviews because that's what it's named and that's what it should smell like. It was florally in my nose, which is really strange. It was strong, florally. I don't know if maybe I've, well, I had a different smell stuck up my nose from the day before. Um... And I very much doubt it's it's the wrong crumble in the pot because I've never had that. And I have ordered so, so, so many crumble pots from Wax Addicts. I genuinely think this is just whatever all the notes in this are just obviously combined together in my nose and made me think this was more of a florally scent, which is really strange. I could I could happily say it had some vanilla in there. Um, but yeah, I just genuinely thought this smelled like a big fresh like you know when you get a big bouquet of flowers and and you like it didn't have a particular it wasn't like lily or anything like that i'd say it's normally when you go to like a, and you get a mixed bunch normally when you've got like rose in there and some other little ones it's it smelled very much like that which is really strange so this one's more of me asking you guys if you've had this what did you think of it because I'm really confused right now because it obviously did not smell like it was meant to smell like for me. And the reviews are very, very mixed on the Yankee Candle website. So I'd be really, really interested in hearing what you have to say about it. Please let me know if you've had this. Um, my throw rating, probably a 7 out of 10 because it wasn't what it was meant to be, but it was fairly strong. Um, be interested to see what it would have been like if I would have had it in the jar and burn it under my candle lamp. But yeah, very odd one for me on this review today, I'm afraid. But definitely let me know what you think if you've had this. 
um, and I look forward to hearing your thoughts. But as always, I will get some new reviews out for you soon.